I know that you're going to honor Barack Tenenbaum for the work that he has done, and I want to join in that, uh, in that honor, the incredible work that he has done to bring attention globally to Roll Wahlberg and to continue our quest for information as to his uh, final whereabouts and what happened. I also uh, had a chance to meet Eduardo, and I'm going to mispronounce your last name. Yorinkian. I apologize for that, but thank you for your generosity to make this possible. Because, it, you know, unfortunately, when one is at risk and they are set free, they sometimes just move on with their life and don't realize how that happened. But thanks to your leadership and the leadership of people in this room, the world now knows about an extraordinary individual had a great personal risk to himself, saved thousands. Well, first of all, good afternoon, and just thank you uh, for the work you do, everyone, with the International uh, Wallenberg uh, Foundation. I, I especially want to thank uh, President uh, Ornekian uh, for your leadership here. I really appreciate and uh, know that uh, your involvement here <laughs> makes a difference in spreading awareness, awareness about the legacy of uh, Raul Wallenberg. At a time when it was very easy to stay quiet, or really to pay lip service uh, to those who are being persecuted around them. This was a man of action who stood up, who stood up against good over evil. And he gave his life. You think about it, he risked, he gave his life to save over 100,000, 100,000 people, 100,000 Jewish people from the terrors of Hitler and the Nazi regime at that time. And his calling to serve that greater good is a lesson to all of us. It's a lesson to all of us. Well, I'm Barry serves as a reminder for our moral responsibility, our obligation to respond to the forces that challenge democracy and human rights, our obligation to prevent genocide, because sadly, history has repeated itself. And we should not forget that there was a, a fairly long period when I wouldn't say that Ralph Wallenberg and his fate was entirely Forgotten, that would be to exaggerate slightly, but it was neglected. It was not at the center of attention, certainly not in Sweden, and neither was it in the United States. But Nina, of course, for reasons not only of family, but for all sorts of reasons, uh, she never gave up. This is a painting that was painted by the, by the same person who was a spy who caught Adolf Eichmann. He was a spy and he was a painter. Mm -hmm. And he gave it as a present to Baruch Tenenbaum in Argentina after, after he caught Eichmann. And he painted this picture, as if you can see, this is the map of Hungary and this is the face of Raoul Wallenberg. Thank you so much. Uh, and would you Baruch. please come up, Baruch, Baruch Tenenbaum? And this is, this, is a, this is a present from Eduardo and from Baruch. You. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you uh, Peter, for not only the beautiful introduction, but thank you for the gift. Thank you for each of you for being so generous and thoughtful in your recognition. Uh, I'd like to spend my few moments here today just thanking people and expressing my gratitude for the people in this room for being the advocates and the voices that demanded action in Washington. I also want to thank all the gentlemen who just took a picture with me. Uh, Eduardo, chairman of Raul Wallenberg Foundation, has been a inspiration to all of us in his own moral courage to continue this effort. Baruch, founder of the International Ra uh, Raul Wallenberg Foundation, you are our voice internationally around the world to make sure no one ever forgets. And today I'm once again privileged this time to extend most heartfelt thanks to the International Raoul Wallenberg Foundation and to Chairman Eduardo Urnekian. Thank you, sir. Thank you. For your leadership, your extraordinary courage and leadership in assuring that Mr. Wallenberg, whose earthly fate, as we all know, remains unknown, will live on not only in the descendants of those he spared, but also in the courageous deeds of those his example continues to inspire in a world desperate for heroes who know, as he did, that in man kan yura skirnat. One man can make a difference. Thank you.
I'm really honored to have a chance to be with you and thank all of those of you who have dedicated yourselves to uh, keeping the memory of Raoul Wallenberg alive, not just to honor his bravery, uh, but as a continuing example uh, to those uh, who are here now uh, going forward. And so uh, to uh, all of you, uh, thank you, uh, Baruch Tenenbaum. Uh, thank you for uh, your uh, leadership uh, to Eduardo Urnekian. Uh, thank you uh, for all that you do. Uh, to the late Guy Van Dardel, uh, we honor him as well. And I know Nina Lagergren is here on behalf of the family uh, to accept the uh, award later today. And I want to close by singling out now the International Raoul Wallenberg Foundation, because they have kept not only the legacy of Raoul Wallenberg alive, but they have given manifest expression to it in all their Masim Tovim, in their good deeds. And to recognize the extraordinary leadership of you, Eduardo, all over the years, in Argentina, in the United States, in Canada, internationally, your extraordinary leadership in not only keeping the legacy alive, but together with Baruch, giving expression to it. And so may this extraordinary day be not only an act of remembrance, which it is, but may it be for all of us a remembrance to act always with the inspiration of Raoul Wallenberg. Thank you. First of all, I would like to thank Ezra Filander, Baroque, Eduardo, for all you have done faithfully for all these years. Thank you so much. So now it is time that everybody stops thinking about what Raoul can do for him but ask himself what he can do for Raoul. It's important, this is a big day, a very big day. And it's not just a big day for folks who happen to be of the Jewish faith. It's a big day for all of us, it's a big day for humanity. And that's why I think it is tremendously important for all of us to be here. And I bring huge congratulations to Mr. Baruch Tannebaum the founder of the International Raoul Wallenberg Foundation, and Mr. Eduardo Onikian, the president and chairman of the International Raoul Wallenberg Foundation, and of course, Raoul Wallenberg's half-brother, Mr. Guy Von Daudel, who devoted much of his life to trying to find answers to what happened to his brother. The gold, merits, gold medal ceremony taking place this afternoon would not be possible at all without your focus, your dedication, and making sure that's making this happening with my good friend and the Freelander Group. I thank you for bringing this to all of our attention. And the people we honor today, whose lives have been given not only to this foundation, but also to this cause, Brooke Tenenbaum, Eduardo Urikian, Urnikian, and Guy Von Dardo, are so important to all of us, regardless of religion, regardless of nationality, and regardless of the experience, our life experience, because what you teach us every day through what you do is the importance of caring and courage and the strength that you bring to this con continuing endeavor. I want to thank all of you for the honor of being with you today and for your dedication to this cause. Thank you very much. I commend the International Raoul Wallenberg Foundation for nearly 50 years of service in keeping the legacy of Mr. Wallenberg alive. And in particular, I thank Eduardo Orekian for his tireless commitment to Raoul and the Wallenberg family. And it is an honor for me to be here with each of you to say thank you for standing up commending his service. It is an honor to join my colleague Dick Blumenthal, to join the members of Congress, to join each of you, and it is a particular honor that I have been asked to present an award to Eduardo Ronekian for his service to the Foundation. I want to thank the International Raoul Wallenberg Foundation for all your efforts throughout the years to honor this son of Sweden 
and of America. Wallenberg was a diplomat who chose not to be indifferent and to rise to a higher moral calling. The United States Mint worked closely with the Wallenberg Centennial Celebration Commission to design the medal, and the best part of the medal, in my opinion, are the inscriptions. They speak to his work and his passion. The obverse carries a portrait of Raoul Wallenberg with the inscriptions, Raoul Wallenberg, Act of Congress 2012, and Hero of Heroes. The reverse depicts Wallenberg's view as he extends a Schutzpass and a background view of those he could not reach being boarded on a train bound for a concentration camp. Inscriptions are, he lives on forever through those he saved, and one person can make a difference. I also want to recognize Baruch Tenenbaum, founder of the International Raoul Wallenberg Foundation, and Eduardo Onekian, President and Chairman of the International Raoul Wallenberg Foundation, for their continuous dedication to protect and honor the memory of Raoul Wallenberg. I also applaud the hard work that the International Raoul Wallenberg Foundation has done to always remember those individuals who risked their lives for others. Thank you, Thank you. Before you leave. Yes. Okay. As you may know, my origins are traced to Armenia, where my parents were born. It is from there that they emigrated to Argentina in the early 20th century. As an heir of the Armenian culture, its tradition and legacy, I feel an absolutely absolute identification with both the history and the future of the Jewish people. Apart from a great suffering, both the Armenian genocide and the Holocaust serve to create a common culture and a collective conscience focused on the need to educate so that these events are never again repeated. <laughs> As a chairman of the Wallenberg Foundation, I have been blessed with the channel to communicate our message of solidarity through education and public, public awareness programs. We must never forget forget the past, but at the same time, we must look to the future responsibly with an eye on our future generation. Peace is the result of proactive justice and solidarity. It does not simply materialize. It is built and defended. Raoul Wallenberg, was a man of privilege and social stature who refused to allow himself to be contained by his circumstances. Instead, he was determined to go beyond what was expected of him. He was determined to make a difference. Let me finish with the remark shared by President Ronald Reagan at the 40th anniversary of Wallenberg's disappearance. In the depth of the horror of the World War II, Robert Wallenberg was a shining light of inspiration upholding the honor of the human race. In the name of the International Robert Wallenberg Foundation, please allow me to state that we are truly pleased to see this great man presented with the Congressional Gold Medal. I extend a warm thank you to the men and the women of both the United States Senate and the House of Representatives, and I, took, I look forward to seeing every one of you this afternoon in the ceremony. Thank you very much. <laughs>